Williams is wrong. I think that his history with firing that black police chief in his, in his town is going to be a problem. We need to investigate that much more. Um, but in this particular area, as a candidate who can speak to a marginalized community in this country with faith and with passion and conviction, literally it, it made me think of Obama. And that's the only candidate, the only Democrat so far this year that's made me think of the pre previous president. You know, he's done something pretty impressive early, which is he's broken out of kind of double-A level. Oh, the mayor of South Bend, you know, that's the glorified shopping mall. It's small. Nobody cares. He's now in the race. He's raised enough money. He's broken through nationally. He has an act. He has a shtick that will, and I don't mean that in a pejorative way, he has something to say, which will ante him in. And he's competing with, I think, Beto for the big, I call it the golden retriever boat. Oh, finally, a nice place <laughs> You know, which is a huge contrast to Trump. He's like Beto's smarter brother a little bit. So the two of them are surfing a big voter wave, which is worth something. Will it, will it get them nominated? A lot of turns left to go. But I think as the yesteryear candidate, unfortunately, Joe Biden has started to wobble a little bit. The idea of somebody new and fresh is open, and you've got two pretty strong candidates. Now we're seeing if they can survive the whirlpool for a year of running for president. Right. So, so far so good, he got himself in the race. That's an accomplishment. Yeah, I mean, he's remarkably compelling. His story is, is, is transcendent to a lot of folks. I mean, he speaks powerfully about identity. He speaks powerfully about faith. He was a veteran, he was an intellectual. He seems to have a real ability to connect with people and, and, and a real